Hi, I, uh, I got your message. Which one? Um, all of them. I'm sorry, I'm juggling a lot right now, so yeah. what can I do for you? Oh, I don't know, Margo. What? I'm, I'm lying here barbecued because of a car bomb, and maybe what you could do is figure out who did it. Or better yet, maybe you could save the taxpayers a bunch of money and go arrest the guy who we both know did this, your brother Craig. The Oakdale PD is investigating his whereabouts. Yeah, okay, so so where does this investigation fit in all the other stuff that you say you're juggling? Because it seems to me that, that tracking down Craig and arresting him is not a priority for you. I am sorry that you're hurt, Paul, and I am very, very sorry that my brother might be involved. But right now, I am dealing with a young boy who is looking at being tried as an adult in a murder case. So, excuse me if I think that's a little bit more important than two grown men arguing over a woman who has made it very clear that she wants nothing to do with either one of them. Hey, Parker. How you doing? Same. Can I make your sandwich? I'm not hungry. Is Paul okay? He got hurt again? He was badly burned, but he's going to be fine. Oh, I, I want to go see him. Please, will you take me? I, I heard about what happened to Parker. Is he going to be okay? Oh, right now, I, I have no idea. Well, he's a good kid. He doesn't deserve this. No, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. And you know what, Margo? I don't deserve this either. I'm sitting here counting the seconds until I take my next batch of painkillers. And I don't see what... What's going on with Parker has anything to do with you tracking down and arresting your brother for trying to kill me. Well, if we ever do find Craig and he is guilty, I will be the first one to read him his rights and slap the cuffs on him. Lord knows I've done it before. Really? How come then he always seems to get away? You know what? You should really be concentrating on getting off the painkillers and getting on with some semblance of a normal life and stop obsessing about Craig. Just get yourself better. Anything comes up, I'll let you know. Please, Meg, I really want to see Paul. Take me to the hospital. I'm sorry, I can't. Why not? <laughs> uh, your parents. You're a kid. Uh, I'd have to get their permission. Well, if I'm old enough to go to prison, I can go visit Paul. Why don't you ask them if it's okay first? Yeah, well, I already called them, and they're not picking up. Look, they're not going to think you kidnapped me. Paul's my friend. He really helped me out when I needed him, and I want to return the favor. This is really important to you, isn't it? Fine, let's go. coming to see me. Your parents know you're here? No, uh, yeah, they kind of don't. But I was, I was going to tell them. You didn't hitch, did you? Jack and Carly would kill me if they found that out. You here to see me? Actually, I, I'm just the chauffeur. Jack and Carly weren't around, and Parker really wanted to come and see you. It's great to see you. You got burned really badly. Does it hurt a lot? Only when I breathe. Hmm. You know, I'll, I'll let you guys talk. I'll be right outside. Oh, please. Stay. Parker doesn't mind, does he? Mm, it's fine by me. I really shouldn't. Why don't you let the man call the shots? He's the one in the hospital. So, uh, paper said your car blew up. How'd that happen? That was an accident. Right, your car just blew up for no apparent reason. Why are you lying? Someone tried to kill you.
were right, Parker. It wasn't an accident. So who did this to you? It doesn't matter. Are you kidding? No, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because it's my fault. I let things get out of hand and I wasn't thinking. And the result is that not only did I get hurt, but I wound up hurting a lot of people that I love. You know what that's like, don't you, Parker? Yeah, sounds like you heard about the trouble I'm in. Yeah. And I would tell you that everything's going to be okay, but you're a really smart kid. I'm not going to lie to you. But you're lucky you are a kid. Yeah, that's not what the court thinks. Yeah, well, let him try you as an adult. Doesn't matter. You're still a kid. You're going to be okay because you have mom and dad to love you. Carly and Jack are going to fight to protect you because you're theirs. And no parent should ever lose a child. Hey, you know, I think it's time for us to go. Your parents are going to be wondering where you are. Parker, listen, I'm going to be laid up here for a while, so... If you want to come by and... Or after, I'll be at Fairwinds, you know? You could... Play a video game with me or whatever. Cool. See you later. Hey, um, do you mind waiting out here for just one second? Visitors, I didn't want to bother you. Yeah. Well, I, I don't, I don't think I need to worry about Meg coming back anytime soon. Last time we were here, uh, you asked about the hearing, and I just thought I would tell you how it went. Right, that was today. How'd it go? I have tantrums, like every 15 minutes you should see the nurses, they, they, really, they appreciate it. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. It's okay, laughing's okay here too. So, you're sure Paul's gonna be okay? Are you asking me as a nurse? You know what I'm asking. I think Paul is going to recover physically. Otherwise, I don't know. What about you? Are you okay? Well, I'm kind of stumped there, too. If there's one thing I do know, you're going to be okay. You know, you've got too many people pulling for you not to be. 